Hello everybody. It's December 4th and Christmas is rapidly approaching. I'm a couple days uh, late to this. I just found out about it today. But OSINT for fun um, decided to put out an OSINT Advent Challenge. I was looking online and I realized that there weren't any walkthroughs or write-ups for it. Um, at least not yet. And we are already four days into it, as it began on December 1st. Um, and so I figured this is something that I've kind of wanted to do, is uh, start doing some OSINT walkthroughs, as well as some OSINT tutorials for those of us who cannot afford the uh, $8,000 uh, OSINT certifications and training courses. So here what we're going to go ahead and do is to, uh, each day I'm going to post a video. I'll go ahead and uh, post the first four here, um, probably on the same day, and get caught up. But we'll go ahead and walk through these together. And I want this to be a learning experience for those of you who are new to OSINT. And I'll uh, take it slow, um, walk you through my thought processes and uh, methodologies, and I'll just go from there. So with uh, no further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So, right off the bat, um, this is the osintforfun.eu um, page. Um, it takes you straight to their advent calendar. Um, they've got it in both French and English. And it looks like that once a day, um, as we get closer to Christmas, one of these will open up. Notice that it stops on 24, so I don't know if there's going to be anything special on the 25th or if it's just going to stop there, but so far 1, 2, 3, and 4 have, unlock, have unlocked, so let's go ahead and jump into number 1 and we'll go from there. Okay, so this one's called Boycott, um, and it's giving us a picture right off the bat, and it looks like it's Rosa Parks. Um, it says this woman faced a bus driver and became an emblematic figure of the fight against racial segregation. <clears throat> In which city was she born? So definitely Rosa Parks. Um, right off the bat, um, I want to say Montgomery, Alabama, but I think I'm wrong. And we are OSINT investigators, so we don't make guesses. We uh, bring facts to light. So I'm going to go ahead and just Google... You know what? Let me uh, back up here. Some of you won't know that this is Rosa Parks. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to open up the OSINT tool I created. Um, I call it Bloodhound for now. Um, this is something I'm going to make a video on in the future, but the lead we have is an image. So I'm going to go to the image tab and go to Google. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. this over here. I'm going to push this search by image. This is a really good um, search feature that Google has. It will scan the internet for the same or similar image. So hit the search by image. I'm going to just grab this image and hold on. Still new to recording. So What I would do is I would grab this image and pull it into here. So I'm going to, that way you can see what I'm doing, put this on one screen. There we go. Drag and drop there. And you see right away, Rosa Parks, American activist. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just Google. Rosa Parks, birthplace. And right here, I've got Tuskegee, Alabama. So it just wants lowercase city name, as by the example right here. So I'm going to take, copy that, close that out, and paste. Uh, 
And that was it. Congratulations. And then uh, the thing with uh, OSINT for fun is uh, they give you a validation code. That way, if you want to, on social media, post the validation code, it shows that you solved the, um, the, the capture the flag, the challenge. And without giving the answer away, though, um, and ruining the fun for everyone else. So this is the first of the OSINT for Fun Advent series. Um, tune in again for the next one, and we'll see you shortly.